What's going on? How you doing today? Each level con. I gotta tell you, you can do a little better than that. How you doing today? Listen, I gotta tell you something. I've done a lot of shows. I've worked a lot of stages. I've worked a lot of cities. And every town I work at, they think they're the best crowd. But I know coming here, I know the good people here of Long Island, New York, at Eternal Con is not gonna let me down, all right? I know you guys aren't gonna little, little, little town like Providence, Rhode Island show you up. I know you guys aren't gonna get a little town like Bridgeport, Connecticut show you up, right? Eternal Con, if you guys are number one, I gotta hear you right now! This is the Eternal Con costume contest, all right? Now, we got some fantastic prizes, we have fantastic contestants, all right? Now, but I cannot do this alone. No, 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 no. For this, I want to introduce to you my elite guest judges. Are you ready to meet the judges, people? My first judge is a wonderful and beautiful cosplay guest. You can see her table up on the third floor. Let's hear it for Supergirl Smiles! Don't walk so fast. People just waited here an hour. Say hi to people. Come here. Wait a high up. You're like... Supergirl Smiles, people! My second judge! You guys love, he is known everywhere on every con every convention on the East Coast. Let's hear it for the real life Peter Griffin! I gotta hand the mic to Peter. Peter, say something to the people. Have you guys heard? Don't you know about the bird? Well, Peter's gonna tell you about the bird. Bird, 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 my wonderful partner, she helped put this wonderful contest together. She is a cosplayer on the third floor as well, and she holds a wonderful organization that dedicates its time to disabled and terminally ill children. It's called Heroes. I encourage you to visit her table on the third floor to learn more about it. Let's hear it for the wonderful Adana Blast! everyone doing? Can I hear that again? Yay! Are you guys ready to look at some great cosplays? Have fun in the air conditioner? You're not standing in line anymore? All right, thank you for coming and thank you for waiting and enjoy the show. Adina Perez, everyone, thank you so much. Now, you are here. I know you guys waited a long time, and thank you. Give yourselves a round of applause for waiting. Thank you so much. Thank you. You're going to see the best in the area's costumers and cosplay right here. They're going to walk up right here, strut their stuff, and they're going to walk right up and line up right there, wait for the judging. Now, I've got the categories here, and i got to tell you, man, the prizes we got are really good, are really good. So the, the winners, man, they're, they're going to love this. Our, we have, our category is our best in show, best male, best female, best child male, and best child female. We've got a best group. We've got two honorable mentions, best performance for adults, best performance for children. And those are the categories Lewis, are most contestants ready? Yes. Eternal Con, are you ready to see the contestants? Yes. Judges, are you ready? Yes. Lewis, let's 
see the first contestant, please. Go right up. Our first contestant, I promise you, she is truly outrageous. Let's hear it for Opera Phantomus as Jim. Her dress and belt is handmade. Dress is made of vinyl, and the belt is made of crocheted, eye-stretched material. Is that correct, Jim? Let's hear it for Jim! <laughs> Mr. Lewis! Let's hear it for our next contestant, Jamie, as the Zomi Tojo from Love Hire! Her outfit is completely handmade, no patterns, Design and made my anime angel blue. Is that correct? Thank you so much. Right up the stairs. Thank you. Let's hear it for Naomi Tojo. Mr. Lewis. Next, we have Joseph Rosati as Robin from Fire Emblem. Turn around, show the judges, show the audience. Robin's costume is a homemade representation of his favorite character. Let's hear for Joseph Rosati! <laughs> Up next, we have Jamie Scotto as War Girl from Mad Max Fury Road! <laughs> Handmade leather, liquid latex scarves, Handmade explosive lamps, ball cap, black and white body paint. Show the judges, show the crowd. Let's hear it for Logo! <laughs> Direct from the Marvel Universe. Let's hear it for Saint as the Rhino. Rhino. Let's hear it for Rhino. Let's do our applause. Our next contestant from a galaxy far, far away. It is the Lord, self proclaimed Lord of Cardboard. Let's hear it for the Viking Stormtrooper. Stormtrooper! Next we got... Next we got Wyatt as King Bradley, a.k.a. Wrath, from Full Metal Alchemist Warhood! Let's hear it for Wyatt! Next, we got Frank, Mike Franchi Jr. as the great Dark Winds Blogmall from Darkwing Duck. <laughs> hey, Darkwing Duck, come here, come here, come here. Since you wrote, did you write this with your big toe or something? All right, what does that say? All right, he wants to let you know that his cosplay is just a little bit of dreams. Let's hear it for Darkwing Duck! <laughs> All right, let's hear it for Massimo from Marvel! <laughs> Massimo wants to let you know it's homemade winter gloves Robe and belt, two guns, lightsabers, and a black shirt. Let's hear it for Massimo. <laughs> next. Let's hear it for this next child contestant. It's Matthew as Deadshot from DC Comics. Slade Wilson himself, DC's master assassin. No, that's not Slade. Who is it? 
Oh, it's dead shot. I thought it was Destro. Floyd Lund. I got that right. Floyd Lund from the Suicide Squad. I knew it. Our next contestant in the child category. We've got Paola as Van Castillo from Supernatural. She wants to know, she wants you to know that her costume is made in one day, everything homemade, felt wings, and cardboard knife used to make this wonderful costume. Let's hear it for Paola! Next, we have Eric Parker as Mirin Miris from Homestuck OC. Homemade cardboard set with moose neck. Let's hear it! This guy's scaring me to death, okay. I'm gonna get this right. Let's hear it for Deadshot! Show the judges dead shot. Just don't shoot. Do not shoot. They are not covered by Eternal Con Insurance. Thank you so much. Let's hear it for dead shot. Next contestant, come on up. Let's live long and prosper. Boldly going where no one has gone before. Let's hear it. For Spock and Ohura. <laughs> Spock and Ohura, let's hear it! You guys having a good time so far? You tell the I know you can do better than that. Are you guys having a good time so far? Are you ready for this happy couple? <laughs> Straight from Marvel Comics and I don't know where else. Let's hear it for Peter and Mayday Parker, Spider-Man and Spider-Girl! Oh, revealing the identities. This is Civil War, I guess. Peter is stuck with his mask. Spider-Man does whatever a spider can, except take off his mask. <laughs> Let's hear from Peter and Mayday Parker! <laughs> now, also back from Marvel Comics, you know him, looks like deja vu, right? But it's only one of them now. Let's hear it for the amazing Spider-Man! to tell you about his costume. It says, tell us about your cosplay. I'm Spider-Man, LOL. A genius. Let's hear it for Spider-Man. Oh, dear Lord. Someone call a dentist, please. Next, all the way from the land of DC Comics New 52 and Joe's Garage. Let's hear it for the Joker! Joker wants to tell you that his mask is custom made with resin, then hand painted, and it's not the mass produced mask sold in comic shops. Between you and me, I think he's lying. Mr. Kent, all the way from the Daily Planet. Let's hear it for its own cop reporter and photographer, Jimmy Olsen! Jimmy, now I know you want to tell everyone that 
your signal watch here's Superman's get Superman's care is that right read it okay so my dad's handwriting he's like a medic I don't know anyway my signal watch hurts Superman's ears that's true because you have been showing up late every time I get held hostage, this is like in every other article. Yeah. They have counseling for this, okay. So, <laughs> let's hear for Jimmy! Our next contestant is the man not only the last son of Krypton, but the father with the worst handwriting. Let's hear for the kingdom conversion of Alex Ross's Superman! Check the flexing out. Superman! We got our next contestant right up the stage. Her name is Stephanie. Is it just you or two? I can see Victory Bell. There it is. Let's hear for James and Victory Bell from Pokemon! She wants to let you know that everything is handmade. All the props, costume, shirt, and the mask. Let's hear it for James and Victory Bell! Let's hear come up to the stage is Miss Jacqueline as Terezi Pyro from Homestuck. She wants to let you know, and she said that she made her cosplay her grandmother in 2011. Props and horns are also handmade. It's her favorite costume to wear. Let's hear for Jacqueline as Terezi Pyro. way to the stage next. Let's hear it for John as Dragonborn from Skyrim! Dragonborn, his cosplay is foam, fur, leather, and very hot. Let's hear it for Dragonborn! All right, next we have Taylor as Lichtenstein from Italia. Her grandmother and herself worked on this for a few months. It's made of bed sheets from a modified pattern. Let's hear for all the hard work she's done. Let's hear for Taylor. Oh my lord, what is this coming up? <laughs> let's hear it coming up next. Let's show some love for Miss Zadra as Roller Derby Nova from Heroes of the Storm. <laughs> Everything is made from scratch, including the prop using EVA foam. It took two whopping months to make. Let's show some love for Roller Derby Nova. Our next contestant walking up the stairs is Tony as Leah from Diablo 3. She originally did this costume two years ago, and now she made a few, changed a few things. She made a few changes. She made the bow, the overshirt, the, the overskirt, the vest, and the collar. She did that all on her own. Let's show some love for Tony as Laura from Diablo 3. Let's hear it. For Daria as Daria! Very important, she 
does not want to leave the stage before she lets you know about her cosplay. I'm dressed as Dario. Dario! In case you guys didn't know, let's hear it for Dario! <laughs> oh my lord, get up there. Ready to pounce his way on the stage. We've got Daniel as Strong Bad from HomestarRunner.com. Very importantly, he wants to let you know that he is taking time off from his emails. Strong Bad here is to Bernie. Bernie. Bernie, the countryside. Let's hear it for a strong back! Coming up, our next contestant, let's show some love as Rachel approaches the stage as Totoro from My Neighbor Totoro. We got some Rachel love up there, Totoro! I heard somebody scream. She wants to tell you about her cosplay, but it's crossed out, so I don't know what to tell you. Let's hear it for Rachel's Totoro! Is there a human being underneath us? You know, what is going on? All right. Up the stage, watch your steps, please. There you go. We gotta show some love for Tanya as Pyramid Head from Silent Hill. Cosplay, I'm Pyramid Head. Thank you, Pyramid Head. Oh, aren't you a cute little darling? Let's show some up, up the stairs. Approaching the stage right now is Dana as a minion from Despicable Me. Watch those steps, minion. Moving down the line. I don't know, the, oh look, the claws ripped this, very, very nice, all right. From the world of DC Comics, let's hear it from Miss Selena Power herself, Catwoman! And she wants to let you know, it's 100% authentic. What does that mean? <laughs> You're really Catwoman? Authentic and real claws, real metal claws. Let's hear it for... Catwoman! Our next contestant is our first group. Our first group all the way from Gotham City and Arkham Asylum. It's Gotham's villains! Batman's arch enemies! We have Bay! We have Poison Ivy! We've got Catwoman! Harley Quinn and some Joker here. Let's hear it for Batman's villains! Next, who do we got? All right. Let's hear it for Bree as Aloise Trancy from Black Butler 2. Wave, say hi, say hi to the judges. You waited so long in line, why rushing off stage? Let's hear it for Bree as Aloise Trancy. Our first political costume of the day is Max as the First Lady Michelle Obama! Something about his cosplay he listed as I'm Barack Obama's sweet potato lovin's wife. Hey Michelle, where do you? Come here. Come here. Come here. I can't believe you made me read this. You read this now. Barack Obama's sweet potato loving wife. <laughs> Let's hear it for 
Michelle Obama. Clean everything up. We've got from your favorite infomercials, Billy Mays. <laughs> Who do we have next? The Sham Wow guy? Who do we got? Hey! Next in the child category, let's hear it for Savannah as. Samus from Metroid! Let's hear it for Savannah! Who's screaming? <laughs> How you doing? Next, from the galaxy far, far away, up the stairs, is Kyle as a custom Mandalorian from Star Wars! Show the judges. Make sure the judges take a good look at you. Let's hear from Ka Hai as a Mandalorian! Next, we have a couple. Two in the group area. The group section. We have Allie and Aaron as Time Space Cosplay and Crystal Me Creations Cosplay from Legends of Korra! <laughs> Legends of Korra! Fantastic! You guys all right? You guys still alive? Let's keep it moving. So why are you so serious? It is Brian as Joker. Why so serious? Let's hear it for Brian. Coming up is a couple. Straight from the upcoming film Suicide Squad, it is Joker and Harley Quinn! Make sure the judges see you, Joker and Harley. Joker, Joker, Joker. Are those tats real? Oh, we're gonna take off points for that, okay? No, that's it for Joker and Harley! All right, let's stop monkeying around. What's going on here? What do we got? Kato, Kato, and... My man, what are you doing? The stage is right there. Kato, Kato, as Sun Wukang Monkey King from the Journey to the West Cut TV Series. Hey, get over here. Get over, come here. Get some monkeying around. You wait like an hour to be on stage. You come up. Make sure everyone sees you. Make sure the judges see you. That's a mouthful, Dad. All right, coming up to the stage is a group boldly going right here. They are the USS Iwo Jima from Star Trek. General Jonathan Slavin. I'm right here. I'm uh, no, right now, uh, right here. How you doing? Hi, it's me, the host. How are you? Now, you wrote here, you want everyone to know that you, General, designed and made all the uniforms. Let's hear it for the General. The General who clearly wants to make sure he gets all the credit, typical. Thank you so much. This wizard's nothing but a crazy old man. 
Let's hear it all the way from Star Wars. It is Obi-Wan Kenobi. Greetings, <laughs> my friends. Remember, the Force will be with you always. A brief word from a friend of mine, Master Yoda. There's a little known Jedi power. It's a bit like telepathy, it's a bit like channeling, but I will need your help to communicate with Master Yoda because he is in a galaxy far, far away. I need each and every one of you to concentrate on Master Yoda. Hold in your minds an image of Master Yoda. Hmm. <coughs> Called me Obi-Wan Harris. <laughs> what place is this? And who are you? I know you not. Strange with the force this place is. Sith do I sense. Stay away from the dark side. Believe not in those cookies. A lie they are. <laughs> May the force be with you. Always. Master Obi-Wan! I get a little bit frightened when there's somebody who just does something just a little too well. Let's hear for Lenny is Obi-Wan! I know exactly who you are. You are the screen guy of the Jedi. No, I'm kidding. Come on up. Come on, Annihilus. Darth Maul from Star Wars. It's Bobby Martin. Watch that step. Sith Lord. I, I can't see, damn it. I can't see. But next, we got. Next, up the stage, let's show some love for Lisa as novice Han from Doctor Who, the David Tennant years. Lisa. How are we doing on space here, guys? You guys all right? Okay, if you've got space, can you move up? All the way, it's just a spatial issue. Thank you so much. Watch your step. Guys, wrap around the stage, please. Wrap around the stage. If there's a way to go back there, please please make it so. Thank you so much. Did I just, I just said make it so, I apologize. Make it so, number one, make it so. I got too much hair to be the car. Right. Next! From Assassin's Creed, let's hear it for Dan Hoffman as Arno Dorian! It's important to know that not only has his, did his friend Mario sew it, he builds it, but he also gets mistaken for Link a lot. So he's not Link, he is Arno Dorian from Assassin's Creed. Right up the stairs if you can, sir. From, from the world of DC Comics, we have Corey and Christian as Static Shock and Arrow. Static and Arrow! Let's show some love for Static and Arrow from DC Comics, people! Next, we have Courtney Johnson as Queen of the Diamonds from Alice in the Country of Diamonds! Let's hear it for Courtney! Next, we have a group, all right, a duo, all right. John and Jose, did I get those names right? John and Jose as... Barry? Chris and Barry from Resident Evil. Let's 
here for Chris and Barry! <laughs> All the way from Eternia, walking up the stage, right up here. It's Gabrielle Playa as Skeletor! About her cosplay, he hates He-Man. Oh, thank you, Skeletor. This groovy thing here, making up his way with his chainsaw. You know who he is. Come on, people, show some love. It's Anthony LaFaria as Ash from Evil Dead. All right, come here. Are you the Eddie Brock version? Yes. All right. Let's hear from Vinny as Eddie Brock being transformed into Venom. <laughs> Don't leave a mess, Brock. That symbiote can be a little dangerous. Hello, hello, hello. Next, we have Anne as Cruella DeVille from 1001 Dalmatians, and thank God she left them at home. Let's hear it for Cruella DeVille! Next, we got Nick as Pepper Pines from Gravity Balls. People, down the finish line, we have next Mary as Emerald, an original series. Let's hear it for Mary with her homemade costume. Everything was made except for the shirt. It took one week to make. Let's hear it for Mary as Emerald. Last, but oh so not least, people. Oh, we've got two more. Okay, as they figure out what's going on, you, sir, he didn't sign up, okay. We have, we have Harry as a vault dweller from Fallout. Ladies and gentlemen and judges, that is your final contestant. The judges have a lot of hard work to do right now. They've got some fantastic cosplayers over here as contestants, so they've got some hard choices to make, don't you? But as they deliberate, because it's not just about the contestants or the judges, it's about you people right here, all right? We're gonna have a chance to win some free stuff well, I got some fantastic prizes. I've got some trivia questions. Who wants to win some free stuff? Yeah. Man, I got boxes of lords. God knows what they gave me. All right, so here, here's how it works out. I really can't see everybody, but I can hear you. All right? So, when I ask a question, all right, the first person who gets my attention Shout my name, raise your hand, my name is Ruby. It's important that you know my name, right? Okay, I didn't type up, all right, never mind. Is it my name? Ruby, okay. Now, if you can't, don't, if you don't think you can get my attention with your voice, I gave you the chance to have a shout representative, a shout ambassador, a friend, a buddy, a mother, whoever, get my attention, I can hear you, okay? The correct answers, Come on down, I'll give you a gift, I'll give you a prize. Are you ready, people? Yeah. Judges, they got a lot of decisions to make, so here we go. Our first question, all right, you know what? Coming through, all right, I got, where, where do I choose from? All right. Oh, by the way, listen. Our next question is from Marvel Comics. You got Marvel Comics fans? Yeah. 
All right. I need a name, a real name, a full name. That means first, middle, and last. Okay? And I'm telling you right now, none of those names is David. All right? I get that all the time, so I'm just making it easy for you. None of those names, first, middle, and last, David. What is the real name, real full name of the Incredible Hulk? You in a white shirt that jumped up, you were the first one. Say it. Who? Oh, David Bruce Banner? What did I say that none of the names were? Thank you for paying attention, sir. Now, I'm gonna turn around. The first person I see, I'm gonna look everywhere. What is the first full name of, what is the full name of the Incredible Hulk? Robert Bruce Banner. Robert Bruce Banner is it. Come on down, buddy. Robert Bruce Banner. Hey, someone can pass that up to him. Buddy, right there, stay right there. All right, so that was the incredible. Hey, listen, speaking of the Hulk, I gotta, I gotta ask you something. Did anyone see that large, oversized Hulk before? You know who that was? That was me. And if I scared anybody, I truly apologize. I actually Hulk apologized. But yes, I was the incredible Hulk on stilts. Moving on. From DC Comics. I'll give you a clue. This is from the world of Batman. We got any Batman fans? Yeah. Ready? I'm gonna look to the sides too. What circus are the Flying Graysons from? <laughs> Yellow shirt. <laughs> quiet, quiet. What is it? I gotta give it to this girl. Haley Circus. Haley Circus is correct. Thank you. You, Missy, get a free shot glass from one of our artists down in Artist Alley, Ken Kunston. He invites whoever wins this to go down to his table in Artist Alley and enjoy this refreshment. Yes, sir. Right, but we're gonna do this first, okay? All right, all right. Leave it to the Joker that wants to make the show all about him. All right, moving on, all right. We got any Star Wars fans? Who is excited for episode seven? All right, let's see how, let's see how big your Star Wars knowledge of trivia is, all right? Let's, Dude, I can't see your tattoo all the way here. You got a little tattoo of Aunt Brew right here if you want to show off. Even blue milk. All right, so, in Star Wars New Hope, in the deleted scenes, uh-oh, 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 deleted scenes from Star Wars A New Hope, how you doing? What nickname do Luke Skywalker's friends give him? Wow, you're the first one. Wormy is correct! Luke Wormy Skywalker, let's hear it! Let's pass this up to him. A free VI print drawn and signed by artist Sean Shen. Let's hear it for the contestant in the black over there. All right, we're going to leave it with Star Wars. All right, Ambru, you ready? Okay, all right. We all know what the Millennium Falcon is, right? Yeah. All right, we all know who owns it, right? Han Solo. And we all know who owned it prior to him, right? Okay, that's, that's not the question, sir. That is not the question. 
We all know it's Lando. All right. The question is, what game did Lando lose at the Han to? You are the first one right there. Savic, Sabak, I don't care. You got it, buddy. Let's give it to the proper, properly pronounced dude who knew how to read that answer that I didn't. Okay. All right. From Star Wars to Trek. We got any Trek fans? Uh, we got some Star Trek contestants there. All right. We're with Aunt Brew. Are you, are, you a, are you a fan of Star Trek too? No. Oh, look. Two questions, he was going, yo, my man, right here, yo. Now he's like, I don't do the trek. All right, from the land of Star Trek, all right. What, well, what do you call the Vulcan seven year reproductive cycle? Guys, I gotta pick you. Do not scream the answer out. Okay, you just helped out that guy who probably didn't know it. All right. Pon far. Let's hear it for the gentleman over there with the correct answer. Where are you, buddy? Move that up over there. All right. This is a good one. All right. Marvel Comics. Yeah, that's right, Marvel Comics. Now, there are multiple answers to this. I only want one because there's a TV version, there's a, a comic version, the comic version might have multiple versions. I don't care, just give me one version. I need to know what the letters in SHIELD stand for. You, right there, Aunt Peru, what do you got? You in the blue. Green headquarters. All right, he got it. In case you didn't hear, Supreme Headquarters International Espionage Law Enforcement Division. Come on down, sir. You're right by the stairs. I got you. I got you. All right, buddy. You guys having fun so far? Yeah. I got a lot more stuff. I got a lot more stuff to give away, all right? So we're just beginning. How you doing, Vader? You all right? Okay. All right. You know, we did two Star Wars. So let's do another Trek question, all right? You guys ready for another Trek question? Star Trek crew, are you ready for another Trek question? Not barely. The, the, the general cares. That's all he cares because he made the outfits. All right. One second. Oh, hold on. Everything here. All right. Now, Star Trek. Now, does everyone know? Everyone know? You guys know the villain Khan. All right. You know what? On the count of three, I want to hear. Con as loud as you can and as long as only Bill Shatner can do it. One, two, three. I'm going to the bathroom, I'll be right back. Keep it going. Thank you so much. All right. Uh, hello. <laughs> Now, as most know, most Trek fans know that Khan, Khan's uh, first appearance was not Wrath of Khan. He appeared in the original Trek episode, Space Seed, okay? My question is, where did Kirk and the Enterprise crew leave Khan and his team to live? All right, right here, brother. We do not shout out the answers. You. SETI Alpha 5 is correct. Do not shout the answers until I ask you, Mom. Thank you. Oh, Mad Max Free Road, wait, I got something for you. Hold on, hold on. 
She's like, send me off the line! Send me off the line! Let's hear for Mad Max Fury Road over there. Let's go back to DC Comics, particularly Batman, because everybody loves Batman. What are you doing, Peter Griffin? You're playing with feathers. Okay, all right. I need the first person to get my attention for this. What area of Gotham were the Waynes murdered in? Oh, I got this. Crime Alley is correct. Pass it up all the way to that gentleman over there. Judges, how we doing? <laughs> Judges, are we good? Okay. Judging has been completed, ladies and gentlemen. Are you ready to hear the winners? Let's give a round of applause to all the fantastic contestants we got here. Let's give a round of applause to our fantastic judges. And most importantly, let's hear it for you people. You guys are the fans. You guys waited all this long. Let's hear from your people. Let's hear how much you love it. Come out! All right, judges are ready to announce the first winner. Yes, we are. Okay, we have some honorable mentions that we're going to mention first. Uh, no pun intended. Our first honorable mention will be Dragonborn. Come on down. You want your prize, come on down. Come on, Skyrim. And winners, hang out down here for a photo op. Ooh, watch that step. Let's hear it for your first honorable mention. Miss Adina, the second honorable mention, please. Ash from Evil Dead. Ash, where are you, Ash? Come get your groovy gift. Come on. Coming down the stairs, waving his chainsaw. All right. He's groovy and he's bad and he's mean. Let's hear it for Ash. Our third honorable mention. Roller Derby. Roller Derby. Let's show some love as she makes her way down these stairs. People, I gotta tell you, it's not easy to climb down the stairs. So let's show some love with our hard work costumes. Congratulations. All right. Congratulations to Roller Derby. 
Miss Velez, I believe we have one more honorable mention. Oh, just three. We have, those were our honorable mentions. Let's hear it for them. Okay, our next category is the best performance in the children's category. Mr. Dana Velez. Mr. Jimmy Olsen. Jimmy! Where are you, Jimmy? Hey, Dad, why don't you fly him down? Come on, Soups. Jimmy's in trouble here. Let's hear it for the Daily Planet's cub reporter, Jimmy Olsen. Golly gee, Mr. Kent. Take a bow, Jimmy. Congratulations. So right down, right there. Thank you so much. Our next winners is the best performance in the adult category. Obi. Voice is strong with me. <laughs> Come on up. Take your bow. Let's hear it for Obi Wan Kenobi. Best performance in the adult category. Next, we have the best group. The best group category. Then the winners are Miss Adana. The Gotham Villains. Batman Villains, come on down! Where the hell were you? You didn't show up. <laughs> Where are the Gotham Villains? Are they trapped in Arkham? You know, I really dig that guy in the front! <laughs> oh, he is out jokering you! Joker, Ivy, Harley, Catwoman! and Bane! Congratulations to the Gotham villains, much well deserved. Our next win, how you doing, Lucy, all right? You're good, all right, okay. Our next winner, Miss Adana, is best child male. Best child male. Death shot. Dead shot. Little dead shot. Little dead shot. Little dead shot. Come on down. Oh, you're coming over here. Oh, there he is. There he is. Not death stroke. It's dead shot. <laughs> right this way, Mr. Warren. Please do not kill me. Please. Let's hear it. For the dead shot! Congratulations, dead shot. Our next is our best female child, Miss Adana Velez. Samus of Metroid. Where is she? All the way. Let's show some love for the winner of the best female child category. All right, like I said before, these costumes are hard to walk into, so make sure she hears her love. That is a lot of effort walking down those stairs in this fantastic costume. Congratulations! Hey, did you want to say something to the audience or no? Can you hold? I'll hold it for you. No, 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 no. Do 
not disrobe your costume at all. If you walk in street, you better watch out for Alan. Because Alan's going to come out of the way before when you cross streets. Oh. All right, let's hear it for All right, now, our next winner is the best male category, Miss Adana. Who do we got for best male? Kingdom Come Superman. Oh, Dad! <laughs> best male Kingdom Come Superman. Da, 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 da. All right. Da, 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 da. Come on up, Pops. Come on down. Superman. Let's hear for the last son of Krypton. The Kingdom Come version of Superman! I gotta get Superman Mike. You might be. The real life Alex Ross, Superman in the flesh. Right here, baby. Make the pictures. <laughs> you should pay me, right? <laughs> I don't think I don't think the real Superman would say, right here, baby. <laughs> right here, baby. <laughs> Thank you, Superman. Now, we have best female. Pyramid Head. Holy cow. Pyramid Head. All right, you definitely have to show some love for this one. It's going to take a while. Take your time, please. Take your Everybody time. Everybody give it up for her. Let's yeah. hear it for Pyramid Head! Yeah. Here she comes, Miss Terrifying. <laughs> right up the stairs. Yeah. Say hi to the crowd, Pyramid Head! Our next and final category is Best in Show! Are you ready to see this one, people? Are you really ready? This is the last one, people. We gotta hear you. Are you ready? Miss yeah. Adana, our winner is... Deathshot! The adult one. The adult dead shot. With his height. <laughs> Best in show with his functioning props. Come on down. Dead shot. Come on up. Great job. Whoa, watch that step. Now, before we do one more final op, final photo op with the contestants, I want to show some appreciation and love to my fantastic judges. Come on up, judges. Come on up. The Dana Velez, Peter Griffin, and Supergirl Smiles, everybody. Judges, fantastic, tough job. I knew it was a tough one. Now, we want to try. Is it possible to get as many contestants winners here on this stage? Can we do that, judges? We don't need to be on. Photo <laughs> 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 with all the winners, all the little kids. 
children in the front. Olsen, get up to the front as much as you can. Batman group, all the way in the back, right here. All right? Superman, do not block everyone, Superman. Go on up. Dude, sit down, man. Come here, roller derby. Yeah, crouch, crouch. You can be right here. You can be right here. You can be right here. All right. All right. Really? We got any more? That's it. Come on up. Are you the last one up there? These are your winners, people. Show some love. Contestants, can you please look the way to this photographer right here with the Superman shirt? Thank you so much, contestants. Please exit that way. Where can they exit? That way? Exit that way. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you. This has been the annual Eternal Con Costume Contest. Up next is the fan film for